Welcome back to Power BI Helpline YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to look into a very common but the most dangerous problem in Power BI data model, and that is called ambiguous data model. If you are new to this channel, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon for all such interesting topics in Power BI. With that, let's check it out. We have this data model with customers, sales, product, reseller sales, and date table. Based on that, we also have created one matrix visual, which is showing month and year wise total sales. We also have two slicers, one is for customer names and another is for product names. Problem here is, both the slicers are not in sync. And if we select a customer name, we are not able to see the relevant product names, rather we are seeing all the product names. Let's look into the data model and check why is this happening. We notice that customer table is filtering sales table and product table is also filtering the sales table, but filter applied on customer's table cannot reach to the product table because there is unidirectional relationships between tables. One immediate approach which comes in our mind is to enable the bidirectional filter between product and sales table, but this has a very serious impact. First let's enable the bidirectional filter and see if it works. After enabling bidirectional filter, we are able to see the interaction between both the slicers and in product slicer, now we have only relevant product names based on selected customer name. So what is the problem with this setup? Let's look back again into the data model and try to understand the issue. If you will carefully look into the date table and the reseller sales table, you will notice that there are actually two different paths from date table to the reseller sales table. One is directly connected with the order date, and another path is through fact internet sales table, because of the bidirectional filter between product and internet sales table. And this is called ambiguous data model, where engine may get to choose one of the other path for different calculations. Especially if the context from customer table and the date table is involved. This will never give you any error, but your calculations may be incorrect. Let's now verify this. So we have this visual with year and reseller sales, with a slicer coming from the customer's table. We will create two measures, one will use the direct relationship between date table and reseller table, and another will enact this direct relationship and will use the longer path, which is from date to internet sales to product to reseller sales. We will create these measures using crossfilter DAX function, where we can disable the crossfilter direction. We now have three different measures calculating the sales amount from reseller table. One is just sum of sales amount, one is with direct path between date table and the reseller table, and one is with the long path between date and reseller table as explained. Now let's apply a filter from customer table and see what is happening. For this city, all measures are calculating the same numbers, let's check for another city. And here it is, all three measures are showing different results. As said, ambiguity will not show any error, but it will give you unexpected results, which will be very hard to identify the actual numbers. So let's solve this problem by first removing the bidirectional filter, which is causing this ambiguity. 
Now to solve this slicer sync issue, we will use visual level filter on product name slicer, and we will use a condition, which is total sales should not be blank. Let's do that. Now we are able to see the relevant product names based on customers, so enabling bidirectional cross filter is very useful feature, but we need to apply at the place where model is not becoming ambiguous after applying that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more such interesting topics in Power BI.